Hi there, my name's Asher and I'm a member of the Data School's 40th cohort, the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dynamic Zoning Parameter in Tableau. This will let the user decide which view they want to see. So, let's jump right into Tableau and get started. So, I've just opened up Tableau. I'm go going to go ahead and connect to the Sample Superstore dataset. Now for my first section, I want to show order uh, profit by segment. So I'm going to stick segment into rows and then grab profit and stick that into columns. And I'll set that to entire view. Just keep it quite simple. I'm also going to relabel this to bar chart. I'm going to go ahead and add in a new worksheet. This time I want to show profit by date. So I'm going to drag order date into columns. I'm going to change that to be the continuous month. And I'm going to grab profit and stick that into rows. And again, I'm going to relabel this to line chart. So if I go and build a dashboard now, I'm going to take a vertical container. I'm going to put my bar chart at the top. I'm going to stick my line chart at the bottom. Just space those out. So what we can do with the dynamic zoning parameter is we can give the user the option of whether they'd like to see the bar chart or the line chart and then that will be the only chart in view. So first how we go about doing this, if I just go back to my bar chart sheet, I'm going to create a parameter. I'll call this dynamic zoning. I'll allow the data type to be a string, the allowable values to be a list, and then we can have either a bar chart or the line chart. Click OK on that. And now we want to create a Boolean value. That's a true or false value that will determine which chart is shown. So I'm going to click Create Fields. I'll call this T slash f bar and say dynamic zoning is equal to bar charts. I can then duplicate this field, click on to edit and then change these sections to line. I'm going to drag TF bar into the detail here and in my line chart I'm going to drag TF line into it. Now in my dashboard I can select the bar chart and in layout I can control the visibility using the value and I'm going to control it using TF bar. I'll do the same thing with my line chart. At this point, the bar, sh bar chart should readjust to fill the entire container. So what I've accidentally done here is fix the height. I'm just going to uncheck that and the bar chart fills the container. I'm going to click onto this bar chart, go on the drop down and to parameters. And I want to show that dynamic zoning parameter. So when I select this, we can now see the line charts. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident about using dynamic zoning parameters in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love related how-to videos by my fellow data schoolers. So click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.